on, you guys. Welcome to One of Each, the Dumb and Hungry podcast, where we talk about our food adventures and our favorite food groups. I'm Angelo, the Dumb and Hungry. And I'm Macho. And a special guest today. <laughs> Very special guest. Um, I'll have her introduce herself. Hi, this is Jamie, or they call me Jammers. Uh, and I am the guest. Well, welcome. Jammers, it's nice to to have you join us, uh, finally, to be honest. I know, this is nice. This takes me back to pandemic, where we just hung out on a screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, house party, right? And, <laughs> right. and all that. I love house party, yeah. yeah. I'm playing those stupid games, and <laughs> that's all we had. Yep. And this, this is, but this is nice, too. I've never actually been on a podcast. Really? Yeah, I've only I do I do my own, which is like a niche one about capoeira okay. uh, that I've had for the last like ten years, and I I only will only like release maybe two or three episodes a year, just because there's so much that goes into it, and I do a lot of editing with it. But uh, I haven't I've never been a guest of one. Well, we're glad that um, we have you with us, and uh, kind of honored to be honest uh, that that you can uh, to join us. So hopefully, it won't be the last. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, we we uh, are very lucky to know Jamie um, through a lot of our food adventures. Um, just um, yeah, and and we hope uh, that she'll lend a lot of good, just a lot of good knowledge and just a good time as we talk about you know a lot of food places and and things that we're thinking about where to eat and what we have eaten. So, um, Jamie, can can you give us a little bit an idea of like kind of what you're up to these days? Uh, before I was over at Howland Ray's, I was their cashier. Then I became the general manager of their Pasadena location. Uh, and, uh, I've gone on to bigger and better things. I was a captain for a little bit at Cato at the row in downtown. And then I went on to help open, uh, Bubbing Grandma's in Glassell Park. And now I'm the new general manager of Morton Fig over on the USC campus. And it's not even like that was a span of years. That was a span of the last six months. So 2022 Amazing. has been a fucking whirlwind, a mix of really low and really high. And I hope that uh, I can just ride the momentum for the next few years or until I'm dead or something. <laughs> <laughs> until I can like amass a retirement and finally leave or figure out how I can uh, work remotely by doing fuck all that will pay me enough. Oh, that's the dream, man. <laughs> yeah, if I can work like remotely at a restaurant, fucking, I'm gonna figure it out. Uh, but yeah, I guess restaurants are my jam. Mm -hmm. It's uh it's something that turned to be very. It turns out that I'm very good at it. So that's what I'm doing with my life. Well, we're we're very impressed, certainly, with your um with your track record. Um, you know, and whatever role you've been doing at whatever point in your life that we've been lucky to witness. I mean, we've, uh, we've been rooting for you and we're just happy to see that you continue to grow and just kill it, you know? It's, oh, thank yeah. you. So, um, enough ass kissing. Let's, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Nobody kisses my ass enough. I, I feel like, so it's, so I, I appreciate that either way. I mean, I, I was lucky to even get to know you guys, you know, in line at Howland. I don't think a lot of people realize how many faces that we see. So when we do see people that we really like that are like real regulars, not just like an influencer mm -hmm. that doesn't deserve to even like be cool or anything. <laughs> um, and we're forced to kiss their ass. It like oh, sucks. Sure. But mm -hmm. When we see genuine, when we would see like genuine people that we really liked, I mean, the time would go by and like it, it was almost like a jolt of like coffee. Like we'd be so energized to see a thousand more mm. people. So, so I'm really appreciative of both of you guys. Good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and and we're really grateful for this uh, this friendship. So we we're we're happy to keep yeah. going. So, yeah, you guys ate a lot for <laughs> free. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that now. I don't. I work at a place that's not that place. So yeah, absolutely. Let's just call it what it is. A lot of people ate for free on me. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a lot of happy bellies, okay? <laughs> yeah. A lot of favors going to be called oh, soon. But <laughs> so, yeah, for sure. Very cool. 
Um, like I said, Jamie, uh, you're you're definitely welcome here anytime. We're gonna we're gonna make it a point to keep bringing you back. Um, and uh, yeah, dropping that dropping that knowledge. Um, I'll also do a little thing here. Drop your uh, your handle and uh, Ooh, little, see you what? get a little lower third right there. Uh, so. <laughs> it's a professional broadcast. That's right. Professional. I know this is nice. Good? So uh, wow, look at that. Yeah, good. Uh, <laughs> just because everything else is in the honestly, actually, you ha being bringing you here actually brings this uh, brings our street cred up like in. in oh yeah. <laughs> like, this is this is a trash podcast otherwise. So thank yeah, it's good. Um. But um, we are going to kind of get to a, a main segment, you know, since we have uh, Jammers with us today. But I just want to follow up here on a few things. I want to thank everyone, of course, for joining us again as we talk about, you know, more of our food adventures, um, things about local spots and pop-ups and things in between uh, with good food and, and the good people that we've, you know, we've met, you know, including Jamie. Uh, but some things I wanted to follow up, Maicho, we... Um, talked in our last episode actually want to follow up with you how you're doing because um jamie if you didn't know uh my child fell victim to the rona um so he uh wasn't feeling too good lately yeah well i'm glad that we're all remotely doing this <laughs> yeah i still have not gotten oh, it oh nice yeah same here so, thankfully so i mean i feel like it. oh really oh but there's apparently like a class for us. I think we're called the elite or something like that. I we need to find out the terminology because like my parents are the same. Uh, my fiance Dave, like he hasn't gotten it yet. My my brother's gotten it like twice. I think the kids have gotten it twice. Like some people have gotten it like four times. Like I don't understand what they're doing. Yeah, uh, yeah no, it's cr it's crazy. I mean, you know, we're seeing low numbers and low rates, but it's still making its way around. around you know. So my child, are you, how are the taste buds doing? It sucks too. Like I went to cons and didn't get it. It was, oh, it was yeah. just a bad time. Big, big crowds, but then now <laughs> you got it in the, in your, in your household there. And at home. Yeah. yeah that's sucks. unfortunate, but whatever. I'm glad you got it. Like, I mean, at home, I'm, I'm assuming there's some sort of a controlled like factor. Like I can't, I'd be so pissed if I went to a con and got it. Yeah, exactly. But it still sucks getting it at all. Just because I was like, if I, if I got it from a con, I wouldn't have been as upset just because there's a million people there, but it's three people at home. So it's just, I, I think as long as your job is paying that covid rate you know uh that's great i heard it's gonna disappear soon End and the year. just knowing my fucking luck i'm gonna get mm -hmm. it like the week they they cancel that out oh, no, no i think my child took advantage of that so i think he's oh hell yeah <laughs> um but it's like five days or yeah. something yep 40 hours it expires at the end of this year so hope Fuck. hopefully you don't get it at all <laughs> between <laughs> <the> afterwards <laughs> either that or i hope my fiance gets it because i heard it, it includes family too oh. like it's a separate at least the new the new um, conglomerate corporation that I work for now, I have family and I have like solo. Yeah. So like co-op play and solo play. <laughs> so like... Yeah. Yeah. That's good. It's good. Um, well, best wishes to whatever outcome, <laughs> whether you get it or not. <laughs> okay. Well, Micah, how are the taste buds doing? Um, oh, that's right. Um, still no taste, mm. but. My sense of smell no. came back. Oh, yeah. No, it's been gone for two, almost three weeks now. Um, <sighs> yeah. yeah. It I'm sucks. I'm... You should, like, do a, a stunt right now since you can't taste, <laughs> like, chug a bottle of hot sauce like that guy on TikTok. <laughs> I still got that. The spice still gets me. <laughs> you can still <laughs> smell. I'm not trying to it's... die. Or just, like, you know, just go on it. Like, just eat an apple onion like an apple <laughs> there's a guy on tiktok that like i think he's had covid for a bunch of days and and every like single video he's like doing he's eating something crazy where you're like you never eat that <laughs> oh it's interesting i didn't even think about but that. you have no taste but so you're gonna eat it. yeah it'll, it's all the same at that point <laughs> exactly oh man but it's coming back i, I feel it because um my sense of smell came back today mm -hmm. as literally just today i was able to smell a bunch of lysol when I was spraying Lysol, <laughs> Lysoling something. So hopefully... <laughs> Disinfecting. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully my taste comes back soon, tomorrow or sometime this week. Nice. Well, again, hang in there, my chow. We're, uh, we're rooting for you, okay? Yeah, I'm so hungry. Mm. Yes. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, again, you can, you can consume things. It's just that you can't, you won't like... It's not the same. 
Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I bet it's so black and white. You know that filter on Instagram where it's like, do, 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 and like the leaves falling. You're just like, I can't taste anything. Yeah. yeah it's very like, crazy. I bet in your head, your head's like, oh, it's peanut butter dog. But like your taste buds are just like it's, nothing. Yeah, it's just, Is it really like that? Yeah. Like, you know what it's supposed to taste like, but it's all the same. There's, you, there's, you know the texture. You still feel it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it's like eating paper or Ugh. something. Damn. Yeah. yeah. I think I think that's the one thing about COVID that yeah I don't I don't want it. I feel a little lax. Like yeah I don't have a mask on when I work and um I saw a movie yesterday and I still wear a mask in the movie theater. But but you know like in the mall I was walking through a mall in Burbank and I wasn't wearing a mask. I I should have. Um, but yeah, that's the one thing I don't want to get mm. from COVID. Aside from not being able to breathe, is <laughs> yeah. not being able to. Take. Yeah, that was the I was so worried about that. Yeah, we did talk about that. I mean, if I if I couldn't taste or smell something, I mean, I would just end it all. That's it. <laughs> I think your whole like online brand would just be gone if you couldn't taste anything, Angelo. <laughs> I just continue being dumb. No more. Hungry, so no, always hungry instead. It would be a sadder Instagram. It would. It would. <laughs> Here's card. It's a photo. What does it taste like? You know. I don't know. Yeah, uh, but okay, Maicha, we'll we'll check in on you again just to make sure. Again, hopefully, as we talk, hopefully, uh, maybe it will. This is gonna bring it back. Yes, it will bring it back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Um, we'll find out, won't we? Well, let's continue to follow up here. Just some things that came to mind here. These may not be necessarily the hot news, but it's just things that came to mind here. First, um. You know, we eat a lot of burgers. That's definitely in our definitely one of our food groups. So top two, yeah, absolutely. So um, heavy handed is a place that uh, my child, we've been right. Doesn't sound familiar. Okay, you know what? But maybe we're gonna. Regardless, so heavy handed is definitely uh, a good. It's a good smash burger. Uh, you know, sp sp uh, space. They've had a truck for a long time, and they're gonna be opening a brick and mortar in Santa Monica. Oh, we have been. You have okay. Yeah. I'm yes. never gonna eat there if they're they're opening up in Santa Monica. <laughs> There's like no, no reason to reason uh, for me there. to go and there. Yeah. So not so. one day I will eat you heavy handed. Yes, one day. But not but right now. Good. Uh heavy handed was um kind of co founded by um one of the barbecue guys, uh Danny from Flat Point. So um I think he paired up with a buddy of his and I think they started by using, you know, the trims of uh, like the brisket that that Danny would use, you know, for his barbecue, and then they would trim it and and grind it Fuck. up for these burgers, and um, it was obviously a smashing success. And you know, we and so they uh, continued on. So they had a truck for a long time, and they were mostly based on the west side, um, but move around a little bit. But uh, now they've got this brick and mortar coming up. I think as soon as this uh, this, this weekend, twenty week. first. Yeah. So so keep that in mind. The um. The, you know what? I was going to say, you know, it's a huge like conversation thing that like I wonder if people talk about. It's like, you know, with all the hot chicken bullshit mm. that was going on, like, are we tired of smash burgers? Um, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Definitely not yet. I'm not, right? Like, I there could be 8 million and I'll, I don't mind trying. Well, unless they're on the West Side, but like, I will try them too. And I think there's room for everyone. Hot chicken is trash, but like, I could totally go for like 20 different smash burgers i definitely want to give a shout out to yellow mm. paper uh because i actually work with one of the girls at bub and grandma's oh. but unfortunately i haven't tried them yet but they're usually out and about in yeah. like highland park like yeah, east side bad, area yeah. they yeah they should definitely get a shout out they're definitely one of our faves as well um john particularly uh, took a definitely got a big impression because uh, he probably got gout because of them but that's okay <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's what blew his oh my I'm, God. yeah i'm probably just uh is that new gout no, for him? It's been years. It's been years. Oh, okay. So this is like, oh, I mean, it's got to be rich if it re-aggravated it. Yeah. I mean, I feel what happened is that, you know, I I brought him some yellow paper. You know, we had we ate together. And then, like, not soon after, then he complained about gout. And then <laughs> that was it. Uh, like his yeah. big toe? Sucks. So um, it's not going to stop him from eating things. I mean, he's still going to do it, but... Uh, I, oh, it's not as often. <laughs> yeah. He's going to walk yeah, with a exactly. cane. But um, no, yellow paper is uh, definitely a fave. So uh, very cool. 
Um, an- another one, uh, another spot. I, I remember my child, you, you may know already also, you know, El Russo, uh, makes the uh, excellent flour tortillas. Uh, they, they moved their truck from Silver Lake down closer to Echo Park. So they're now in Echo Park, like on, I want to say Logan and Sunset, which is next. What days? My child, what, what, um, another close last Tuesday. Night. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Last I checked, every day except Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> the one time I tried to go. Fuck, I'm going. I'm going to be in Echo Park tomorrow. Uh, um, it might be I'm, different with this. I'm going to see my cousin, and she wants to eat tacos because she's been living in Atlanta. She's actually a foodie person too. She's nice. a pastry chef. Ooh. Yeah, she's actually worked under Nancy oh Silverton, Michael Voltaggio, and uh, she's starting a dog biscuit company well, out cool. in in <laughs> Atlanta. Wow. So is she so she's visiting here? Um uh, Yeah. Uh I believe like she's gonna go to go take a trip without with her mom and her parents are based out in the OC, but uh she, I wanna see I haven't seen her like since before pandemic. Okay. So we're gonna meet up oh. and I think we're either going to Leo's or Angels or who knows, maybe okay, both. Nice. That I like it. Wrong. Yeah, After I work. Both would be the move, you know. <laughs> yeah. Leo's would just be because it's a nice place yeah. to sit. Uh, because I think that the, it, there's more flavor with angels, but there's nowhere to sit. Yeah. But angels takes Venmo. Sure. Well, and then, yeah. And then Leo's tacos, it's just like, it's just nice lighting. And I still like the product, but their pastor at angel is, I think is better. And then the tortilla obviously yeah. is made. Yeah. Uh, not, yeah. Kind of go on a tangent there then. Uh, speaking of angels, thank God there is one that opened, you know, near my place. Uh, out in uh, closer to Long Beach, so it's only like a five minute drive uh, from where I am, and so now oh, I can wow. get my angels fix um, when when they're out here. So thank God. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, well, I was gonna say for the next taco place, I think that's good. Is have you tried a straight up taco? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, I know you've talked them. You up. should. Mm-hmm. I actually. Yeah, they're a great place. I believe that they competed in the tortilla, like a tortilla competition, like last, last weekend. weekend. Okay. They yeah. Do? I I don't think that they. I forgot what company or what restaurant won. It wasn't. Um, damn it! I'm like I'm like blanking of the last yeah. year's winners. Uh, it's not tacos. 1986. It was another okay. big one that one last year but i believe that they they came really okay. close but they're also their big thing is that they're vegan mm-hmm. but they also have like shrimp and fish okay. and so they have non vegan and regular options. meat <laughs> yeah okay. so you should go okay. that's <laughs> worth trying i don't know if that's like been holding you back um and i was going to say their 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 desserts are made by another actual pastry chef cuz i used to work with these I, I feel like so nepotistic but i used to work with them when i was a young line cook and they were line cooks at a fine dining restaurant and they've broken off and they're doing their own thing so, so you, i think that's great that's how you know these guys mhm i wow. used to work with them I, I, and they used to bust my balls okay. <laughs> like so bad. well i i do remember <laughs> you talked about them and um if i'm not mistaken they are based now out in lakewood which is actually not too far from me um, so I will, mm-hmm. uh, make it a point to, to visit there, uh, and try it out. So straight up tacos. Very cool. Okay. Um, but yeah, as a reminder, um, yeah, El Russo and El Russo also, they, uh, they have a second location now in like in J town, uh, in central and second. I know. Uh, so jammers, if you haven't sure. tried that yet, uh, I was going to ask like, what's their speciality? Cause I'll definitely like I mean, look out for them. You know, you go there really for the flour tortilla. I mean, like it's a handmade flour tortilla. I mean, have you been to Sin- um, Sonora Town? Yes, I was going to say that's the winners of oh, last okay. year. I believe was so, Sonoran I mean, like, Town. It, it's similar. It's like the Sonoran style, you know, um, you know, tortilla made out of flour, and it's really soft and mm-hmm. pillowy, and um, it it's almost delicate, but but um, it holds up a. A really nice, you know, your whether the asada or the the birria or Chile Colorado, you know, all all their uh, selections are are really good. And um, one thing I talked about, I, we did an episode on them, and and I talked about the sobaquera, which is basically the burrito. So it's a big tortilla, um, you know, stuffed with you know the meat and everything, and then it's rolled up like a big burrito. Um, so it it's just a really satisfying. Uh, bite 
for from a flour tor- for tortilla. You know what I mean? What What's in the burrito? Uh, well, you have the option. I think the move typically you w- you would want to add beans and cheese. You know, on top of that, and then and then you know whatever meat you choose, whether it's like I say carne asada or uh, chicken or birria or whatever. Um, and then you, and then they add the, you know, they give you the other, to, you know, um, toppings to put on there. The, the, the pickle, Beans, the, uh, onion. the red, the red onion, I'm sorry, the red onion, the cilantro, the onion, um, you know, on the salsas and, and, uh, even the salsa crema, something like that. So no, it, 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 I mean, honestly, again, you, you really go there to try the, the flour tortilla, you know, so there you go. That sounds insane, like to eat a burrito. Like to me, a burrito is like a huge like responsibility because it's just stuffed, mm. <laughs> like with so yes. much stuff. Like if you go to Lucky Boy and you get a breakfast burrito, it's like a tiny yes. baby or like a, your roommate's chihuahua, <laughs> you know? Well, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> like every time I buy, like I feel bad because, like you know, like every time I buy a burrito, I like, take two bites and I want to toss it. Uh, it's like I'm over it already, you know. So like I feel like a taco is like nicer yeah. because you can eat, you know, have like different meats and like play around. Yeah, like a burrito, it's like you it need is. to come yeah, in commitment. to like yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. But um, we're here for it, so we <laughs> we commit. I'll just eat it with you because I know you'll finish. I'll be like here. I yeah, no, I get this. it totally. So. That's uh, that's El Russo. Lastly, to follow up, um, Jamie, I think you'll appreciate this. Uh, if you remember Le Coupe, uh, the fried chicken. Oh my god! Yeah. I gotta so go. They opened a their brick and mortar. Um, there on yeah, long awaited and like took yeah, years. But they finally did it, and uh, my child, they are not too far from you. They're on uh, Western yeah, and Melrose, so um, they they've got there there. Again, on a kind of a tangent, they are along the same. They're not too far, actually, from um, Quia Lord, which is which has their own brick and mortar. Where they do, uh, you know, Filipino food. Um, just kind of very, I don't know, just more. I don't know, just a more modern take, I guess. Uh, kind of fresh and um, not not quite your point point style uh, joint, but mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. it's quite good. Um, so they're not too far from each other. That's what I'm saying. So you can uh, knock both of them out if that's what you want to do. A bang bang. Do you guys know what a bang bang oh, is? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even worry. Yeah, you can absolutely bang bang. I've I've been meaning to. I don't know. Maybe this weekend or something like that. Yeah, I love La Coupe. I love their corn ribs. I think that one like was like the most. They corn ribbed before anyone corn ribbed. Mm. They were like OG corn yeah. ribs. You know, honestly, I think because of you, I think that you introduced me to the. I mean, I was introduced to that kind of that dish at all. I mean, I mean, the word rib. Obviously, I'm thinking of something carnivorous. You know, but <laughs> you know, when, yeah, and, and no one was doing hot honey no. at this point. I think they were yeah, the only no, ones to do apart. that. So that yeah, so the fried chicken is coated in this nice hot honey, uh, not too hot. Enough oh. sweetness to you know pare it down, uh, but it's pretty satisfying. You know, I guess I know what I'm eating next this weekend. Yeah, and, and they sell chicken skins, which is like uh-uh. so dangerous oh. because <laughs> just get a god. A I, every chicken. time, like I'd pass mm-hmm. the fridge, I'd like get a skin and like munch it on the way back to my yeah. couch or like before I yeah. go to bed. And it's like so terrible, <laughs> but yeah. so good. Oh no, it's it's so definitely. Yeah. We, we can kid ourselves and be like, oh, it's keto. But... <laughs> it's fucking chicken skin. Well, at it's least it's not um, like pork, like deep fried pork skin, like chicharron or something. See, it's chicken, right? It's, uh, God. it's healthier. A healthier, uh, the healthier white meat. Yeah, I guess it's healthier because it's like not a red meat. But no, I, I love La Coupe. I'm so excited for them to be open. Definitely going to nice. try them out uh, good, again. Good. Same here. All right, so that's all uh, all the things that I had in mind. Now I kind of wanted to move over to you know uh, something to engage our our guest a little more here and kind of get her take on some things. So we were gonna usually you know our episodes so far have been kind of telling stories, uh, focusing on you know a single uh, spot um, you know that we visited and just telling stories about it. Uh, and we'll continue to do that. Don't you worry. But today I kind of wanted to change things up. Um, just to, um, again, for our get for Jamie here. So 
uh, Jamie, I know you've, you know, you've been in the industry, you know, you've eaten a lot of things and, and that tastes a lot of things too. So, uh, I know you've been busy, you know, lately, uh, with your, you know, your new role and all that, but if you can, if you can work with me here, I, I'd like to go mm -hmm. through like maybe some of the thoughts in your mind and maybe let's talk about maybe about five things if you can, um, of either restaurants or dishes, um, whether, or even things that, you know, you've put together, um, that, you know, again, that you're just kind of thinking about these days, your five, five things in mind, honestly. So it's not necessarily your top five, although it can be, but it's just what you're thinking about these days, you know? Um, and then we can, you can kind of explore each one a little bit, like, you know, Okay. Um, yeah. Like who they are, what, you know, what they do, what it is, or how'd you find out about them and you know, why you're thinking about them. So yeah, I'll let you take it away. I mean, well, I guess we can go from trashy to classy. <laughs> so let's start with number five. Uh, Taco Bell came back with their Mexican <laughs> pizza, but they did not, they didn't tell anyone that they brought it back. So, okay, so, like, they brought it back the yeah. first time, right? And then for, like, a day, I guess, like, nobody said anything. But, of course, like, everybody's like, oh, my God, the Mexican pizza's yeah. back. And then it, like, and then every, like, every Taco Bell just became pillaged <laughs> wow. to the point where they had, like, banners saying, we that do Mexican not have yeah, Mexican yeah. pizza. Oh, wow. Yeah, they but out. they slowly, silently brought it back because last week on DoorDash, I was like, oh, what am yeah. I going to eat tonight? Oh, my God, Mexican pizza. And it still comes so shitty, <laughs> especially if you get it delivered, because by the time you get delivered, it's like a slog, you know, like the bottom is like a slog. Yeah, um, yep. It's wow. still good, though. Damn, I still love it. Mike, do you remember the Mexican pizza? Yeah. Oh, do I? Oh, Oli yeah. loves Mexican pizza, oh, so we've gotten so many. When it first came back, <laughs> we were able to get a few before they sold out everywhere. Wow. And then we've already gotten at least two Mexican pizzas since it came back this time. But did you notice they didn't really, like, publicize it? Like, hey, guys, we brought it back again. Yeah. Like, no one said anything. Were, I'm sure. Taco Bell was like, we know better. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to put it out, time. and if they see it, they're going to order it. Yeah. But she said it's not the same. It's still good, but there's, it's just, she says it's, like, less of what it was because i never actually got the mexican pizza too often before mm -hmm. it was only when it came back when she says less what it was like she just doesn't think there's like enough like beans yeah. and like meat yeah. in it or something yeah. that could just be poor that could just be poor craftsmanship <laughs> true true and it's taco bell so it's like you can't expect any more the same <laughs> at every yeah you're stuff. gonna have to take it yeah, you're gonna have to take it as is. And I mean, it's really hard to because delivery, you know, with delivery and takeout, at least takeout, it's like, okay, the person's in a car, like there's some sort of like accountability. <laughs> but if it's delivery, like it's not gonna be that good. That's like the hit that I take, like, okay, I, I want to yeah. deliver because I don't want to drive through. Yeah. Um, and then I was going to say, I don't know if, like, you know, all of your listeners out there, do you guys, do you have, like, a term for your fans? <laughs> well, because we have what are fans? All those little burgers out there. Like, if you have uh -huh. an air fryer, um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll get a chalupa and put it in the fridge and then air fry it for two minutes and it, like, brings it back from the dead. <laughs> that sounds like, awesome. Like, crisp it right yeah. back up. Yeah, so I I definitely advise you doing that if you're like if you have to satisfy a minimum like I have to satisfy a thirteen dollar minimum, uh, and a Mexican pizza is not gonna do that. So what I'll do is I'll get like a Mexican pizza with a chalupa <laughs> situation and a Baja wow. blast. That uh, that's awesome. And then generally it's like you're not eating Taco Bell at six p.m. You know, at, at a healthy time you're eating it at like midnight one a.m. because the feeling <laughs> yeah. has hit you. Yeah, 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 exactly. Wow. You're like I. I will not regret, the, and then you regret it. But yeah, so that's my that's my number five is the Mexican pizza. With the pro move uh, with the chalupa. Yeah, if you have an air fryer, and if you don't have one, definitely nice. get one. <laughs> yeah, I respect it. Very cool. Well, yeah. moving on. What do you, what else you got for us? Uh, number four, and I wish I lived nearby. Um, my fiance lived in yeah. Burbank, so he was like smack dab in the middle of a lot of really great places. Like, it's crazy. He can get burgers, never say die. And he was able to get booze, Philly cheesesteak. So I'm going to definitely wow. put booze okay. there. Nice. Yeah. Booze is, I think, some of the best. I mean, we're not in Philly, of course. Right. Uh, but I think booze is definitely up there. And they give you like so much. Yeah. 
Like they don't skimp on the meat. They don't skimp on the cheese. Um, I think that the cheese whiz is not for the faint of heart. So I tend to get oh, provolone. Really? Okay. All right. Yeah. Like the, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I don't even think it's the sharpness of the cheese whiz, but that cheesy sauce kind of starts to kind of really like fuck with you. <laughs> like, um, it just takes it because you can't taste the meat after that, uh, you know? Yeah, yeah. You're like begging for onions to rescue you when you eat. Because <laughs> you're drowning. In the... in, yeah, because you're just drowning in cheese whiz. So, um, I I say get the get the provolone. But yeah, it's great. The fries, even though they come like, even though yeah, the fries kind of are cold. There's something okay about it that's cold and salty about it. That's mm -hmm. nice and and soggy. Um, yeah, the, I think booze is like really really wow. good. I I um. We'd agree with you. Uh, booze is uh, definitely some place that we a place that we we appreciate as well. Uh, a friend of us also, you know, really liked booze too, and uh, so uh, we'd be excited. Now, now you got us going. Now, now we got to my try. Can you recover? Can you get your taste buds going working again? Because we gotta <laughs> we gotta get out there. Yeah, maybe you should get it with cheese whiz. Maybe the cheese whiz <laughs> oh, will like go. slap it out. It's like, slap the taste back into your mouth. Like from the Goofy movie, that guy who put the cheese whiz on his hand. That'll be me. Yeah, the Leaning Tower of Cheese. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, what what's the move there? So again, get provolone. Um, but yeah, provolone with fries. I like it. I like it with just onions. Um, but I mean, I I guess like I mean I mm. I'm a mushroom fan, but they just use butt yeah. mushrooms, so that's just more. That's just more more real estate that where mm -hmm. like meat <laughs> could be there and. And I don't think I've ever done the extra meat. There's no need to like just get it as it is, oh, like mm -hmm. just with onions and meat. And I, I've never tried the chicken. Why would you? That's not really <laughs> See, meat. That's like a I vegetable told you, my to me. Don't be that I guy. Never, I never disagreed <laughs> with you. Don't don't bring me into this. Okay. <laughs> I I almost got a job at Safi's. I don't know if you guys have been to Sa I haven't been to Safi's yet. But when Safi's mm -hmm. was like building, I had to go there for an interview and and I remember passing by a booze and I was like, God, I hope I get this job because <laughs> I would totally booze. go to like yeah. booze before yeah, my yeah, shift yeah. or like at the end of my shift. And yeah. So there was like a glimmer of hope that yeah. I was gonna get a job at Safi's nice. for a little bit. Um well hopefully you get hopefully you do get your fix and maybe we will too. So they got two locations. They got the OG one and uh you know on um what the hell is so. that? You know, Virgil. I know one yeah. is in East Hollywood, right? The OG. That's one, the Virgil. one that I passed by. Yeah. Yeah, the one on Virgil. Thank you, Virgil. And then they have mm -hmm. the one in K Town as well. On, and Wilshire. Uh, yeah, I'm like central to both. Yeah. So <laughs> I've been to both sometimes. And it's like such a sad thing that you can't taste know. anything. It's like I, I'm next yep. to it, but I oh can't yeah, eat. I'm like right by a Jollibee, and I haven't had their chicken. I want. I want. Ooh, I was gonna say thank you. Brings me into oh. my next segue, Jolly B. <laughs> All right, in. right on. Okay, so what's the move there? Yeah, the move is to get. Okay, so um, my thing is, yeah, is to get like two piece. Okay. Uh, get a two piece. It's only gonna be dark meat, and I, I'm actually not a fan of dark oh. meat, but I will eat dark <laughs> meat there because that's the only choice yeah. that you have. <laughs> So I will get the two piece with gravy. I won't get the rice. And then the move is is to usually get a leg and a thigh. The move is to immediately get the leg and like do oh, a full yeah. on like <laughs> bonk. Yeah, and then just like take like the biggest nice. bite. And the gravy, there's nothing really special uh -huh. about it either. I okay. mean, it's powder. It's, Let's okay. be honest. Like nobody is nobody's making sure. consomme. <laughs> That it's a straight up <laughs> boiling pot and water, but it's still delicious. Like I don't know what it is, and then and yeah, and get mm, get the mango mm. pie. Like don't get the burgers. The fries are actually yeah. all right. I I got the fries like just because it came with a okay. side, but you just get the pie, and the pie is like 1980s right. deep fried. Right. Each it, mango it good, or banana. It is a, good pie. It is a great dessert. Yeah. Um, yeah, peach and mango. Yeah, it's amazing. What are your thoughts on the uh, spaghetti? I do not like oh, Filipino okay. spaghetti. I've never liked Filipino spaghetti. My parents love it. It's like sweet and it's got hot dogs. I mean, when you're a kid, you don't know any better, right? You're just like, oh, this is spaghetti. Like, this is fine. <laughs> like, yeah. sliced hot dogs. Oh, yeah. It's just sweet. I mean, that's what really fine. makes it a Filipino spaghetti. You have sweetness in there. 
from the uh you know when you do when you make it yourself you got the banana ketchup you actually add sugar in there too i mean it's just <laughs> it's just, yeah yeah it's interesting it's like i don't know and then in my head i'm just like where did this come from is this like another gift from from gis yeah. <laughs> that we got I, but okay like like i wonder because i mean the japanese have a dish like that where it's like ketchup and mm-hmm. oh, bell yeah. pepper and ham oh, i believe good, though. that's right yeah, I think it's called a spaghetti Neapolitan or something. I'm surprised you haven't seen it in one of those <laughs> animes of yours where... <laughs> I may have and just didn't even know. Yeah, probably didn't realize. Yeah, that, and I've never had that I've, or wanted to, <laughs> but um, I'm not into... I, I've actually only... The only thing I've had at, at Jollibee is the chicken and the, and the pies. Okay, okay. okay, good. No, I mean, that's I think good that's... Enough. Yeah. yeah, I think that's all you need. I think that's what... Uh, most people should go there for, um, yeah, it, it's quite good. So again, my child, you are fortunate. Uh, it's too bad for you. I mean, even if you are li- less than a yes. way, <laughs> you cannot, uh, enjoy that right now. So their chicken is so good. Like the yeah. skin is like candy. Huh. Like, I don't, I wonder what they're doing. Like, because like, yeah. it's that good. Because, yeah, KFC is like, you know, KFC Popeyes, if you catch them on a good, like, rotation just where they're the just dropping yeah. chicken, mm-hmm. great. But, yeah, and generally that's, like, not the case <laughs> for any of yeah. those places. But Jollibee, like, every time I'm there in the drive-thru, when I do go to the drive-thru in, mm-hmm. in Alhambra, mm-hmm. like, I know that the yeah. chicken's going to be yeah. fresh. Oh, wow. Yeah. They they have this uh they have this one these amazing combos where you can get, like, a 10-piece yeah. and four pies. <laughs> that's my go-to. <laughs> And I've been actually getting that for potlucks and stuff, and there, there's like no no complaints wow, nice. from anyone. So well, that's the move. We will uh, we'll do that too. Dang. Um, yeah. Jolly Bee. Yeah, can't go wrong with Jolly. I mean, so aside from Jolly Bee, then yeah, you you kind of compared it already to like the KFCs and and Popeyes and stuff. So, um, like, what's another good like? chicken place like always good i have oh man i haven't had churches in like i don't think just i'm just a big fan of their fried okra I, it's the only place i know to get fried okra. oh they yeah. have that so my parents like yeah because they have honey on their biscuit it's good Okay, maybe that's what it. I I like popeye's biscuits but the fact that there's there's okra there i might have to visit the churches in van nuys mm. then because i know that there's one by my if I like the Van Nuys Airport. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. All right. Right on. So that's Jollibee. Okay. Yeah. Guys, try that out. Yeah. Cool. That's number three. So we're 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 getting there. We're what what what's holding number two? Uh so number two, I guess I'm trying to think like where I've been eating lately, where I've been, what I've been doing a lot or where I want to go. Um I think that's a it's a hard thing. I think in terms of craveability, I would definitely say mm-hmm. Hallbosch in mm-hmm. the El Mercado. Um, they have, I mean, oh, and, and then you've gone that. on a taco crawl with me. So there's that smoked fish mm-hmm. uh, tostada mm-hmm. with uh, avocado. I'm trying to think like what else? It's like smoked fish, avocado, like dollops of avocado. And I think there's even like, and then a little bit of like a spicy machaca mm-hmm. sauce. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's like the prettiest thing. Oh yeah, and it has peanuts on top, and it's like the prettiest thing. But you want to yeah, inhale it's, it. It's such an easy uh, bite. Um, yeah, it, it's. They they actually got their Michelin star like not too long ago, their oh. first one. So they're they're pretty yeah. hot right yeah. now. Yeah, I was uh, just about to kind of ask about that. I mean, they and they're kind of in this you know kind of low key unsuspecting you know uh, area in downtown. Um, like it's in a, you know, center with like other food spots there, right? Yeah. Um, Chichen Itza. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So, oh, yeah, Hallbosch. That that's definitely um, definitely the place to be. Yeah. So. I call it the anti Grand oh, Central yeah. Market <laughs> because it's been just as long, and this is like a lot of mom and pop restaurants like Chichen Itza, like Hallbosch. So it's really great to to support them. Okay. 
Very cool. Yeah, again, all these places we're talking about, we'll be sharing them, um, you know, in our notes and stuff when we release this. So make sure you, you guys check them out, okay? But uh, how bosh. All right, now we've come to uh, to numero uno. What have we got here? Uh, I would say it would be the Yang Chao <laughs> Slippery Shrimp. <laughs> Can't go wrong there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes the same every time I burn my mouth on the same place of the roof of my tongue every time I have it. It's like the one thing that I think like that place would get firebombed yeah. if they took it away, if they just like killed their best dish. I think I'm trying to think who was it that said like kill your best dish. I think it might have been John Yao. I was gonna say my old chef yeah. from Cato. That's like one of the biggest lessons that he learned was yeah, like Find your best dish and kill it so you can like mm -hmm. grow from there. That would yeah, not be a good that, move yeah, for Yang for Chao. Everyone, so. Yeah. I was going to say it's, it's going to be a tie. So I say definitely Yang Chao, but I will say most craveable thing, like best thing, I would say the Japanese curry with tonkatsu from Little, Little Island, Island in Northridge. That's on Reseda and Nordoff. It's also across the street from a really good waffle place. But I mean, let's not talk about the waffle okay. place. It's about, it's like an a Japanese run okay. by a tiny family and you can get like these really wild combinations. Like you can get a, a curry and like a California roll. Like they basically made their whole menu oh, into wow. like combos. Okay. Like every it's, yeah, it's like a combination to a safe, like every single combo that you can okay. think of. And they've managed to print it out on a <laughs> one page <Okay>. menu <laughs> with pictures. <laughs> And and they survived the pandemic, which makes me so happy. But there's something about their curry. Like, I think I, I brought my best friend. Yeah. You've met her, cat, And she's actually a food scientist where I wanted to see what she tastes. And she was saying a bunch of random stuff. Like, she was like, I don't know. This could be pureed cashew. And I'm like, oh, that would be interesting. Because there's something really mm -hmm. creamy about it. Yeah. And their pork chops are, like, really thick okay. also. Yeah. It, and it's... It's properly Japanese owned. Like there's even a little kid that's like super bored. That's like <laughs> running around the restaurant. That's theirs. So, you know, that's like a family that's been in restaurants yeah. for a really long time is that there's a really <laughs> bored kid in the corner with her own table, like doing her homework or something. Like she obviously doesn't want to be there, but she knows that it's her family's yeah. work, yeah. you know? So she's <laughs> like, she's pretty much there, but yeah, little Island. That's, that's my number my true number one, but Yang Chao, yeah, definitely a spot, soft cool. spot in my heart. Wow. Okay, um, that's a lot to uh, to think about and um, and to visit. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, my Chao, we'll have to uh, tell uh, Jake and about uh, Little Island since they're out there and uh, yeah, there get them are. to try that and report back. So um, okay, very cool. So that that's our that was your five in mind. I mean, as we uh, as you as we bring you back, which I know we will, we'll try to do more of that. Um, and I don't know, just kind of get your can get your takes on all that. I mean, that's that this is a pretty good, pretty strong list to start with. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, excuse me, excuse to eat out more. <laughs> yeah, we definitely miss <laughs> we've missed uh, hanging out uh, more often, and I hope we can continue to do that. Uh, I know we're all just kind of getting busier and just things are just getting crazier. So, um, but it's, it would be nice. Uh, we'll make sure. I mean, my new job is Saturday, Sundays off, which I haven't had those days off since I attended <laughs> high school. So, uh, that's been nice. And yes, it means we can all possibly go out more. Hopefully my child gets his taste back or maybe we just have to like drag him out with us. So <laughs> it'd be sad. Well, yeah. well, no, maybe it'll for, like I said, it'll <laughs> awaken the taste buds. We'll force it one way or another, you know? Yeah. Like what was your last meal? Like, what did you eat tonight? Tonight, uh, Just soup from Trader Joe's. Which is <laughs> which, what kind of soup? Um, I think it was their tomato something. I don't remember what it was, but it was tomato based. And it just didn't taste soup. like anything. It was just liquid in my throat. Yeah, not not Ugh. great. I mean, again, my chef, you want to uh, take me up on my offer? I'll just give. I'll bring you a salt block. <laughs> Are you like a horse? 
And he can't put his shoes on. That'd be terrible. <laughs> It'll be better than John's situation. Yeah, John can't even uh, can't even bend over without like, exploding his toe. Oh know? my god! <laughs> I like that we're trashing him over the podcast, so that's good. That's all he listens. I love you, John. I see you out there <laughs> having the rich man's disease. <laughs> is that what? It- <laughs> Yeah, they call it the king's disease. Because yeah, he eats so much meat. My dad, my dad does have gout. It's it's more prevalent in guys than girls. Although I do know a few girls that have it, and uh, I'm like, I, that's like a small fear of mine to, <laughs> that I would be one of those like rare ones that would get it. Because I love oysters and I love pepperoni. I love night. I love me some nitrates, <laughs> but I don't want gout. Yeah, there. same, same. I mean, consi- I mean, I'm surprised considering all the barbecue and. I'm surprised, Angela, you haven't had it. Oh you got on, like, I have no <laughs> Texas barbecue binges for one. <laughs> Every barbecue place is like, oh, are you meeting some friends? Nope, just mine. Yeah. Uh, well, don't take anything home. That's your superpower. <laughs> oh, man. But that X man, he just he's going to get gout. He's Filipino. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice well that's uh that's jammers uh you know her five in mind you know uh, this time and i'm sure she'll uh she'll have more to to say uh next time we bring her out here uh but uh how can um jimmy how can people i don't know hit you up or you know get your take on some things how can they reach out to you uh a lot of people will follow my instagram uh, as you can see it's down there oh it disappeared <laughs> I'll bring uh it was more. there <laughs> Yeah, also cool. blunt sarcasm on Instagram, uh, and then I also, like I said, if you're ever on the USC campus with family or something like that in the daytime, I run like a lunchtime happy hour spot there. Uh, one in two places that only serves alcohol on campus nice. of USC. Uh, open on ge- on okay. home game days What's too. What's called again? Uh, Morton Fig. It's named after the massive fig trees outside. They're apparently 100 oh, years wow. old. Okay. All right. Very yeah. cool. Uh, we'll keep that in mind. And then you also said that um, you have your own, you do your own pod, right? Uh, yeah, I do have one on Capoeira. It's the martial art that I've been doing mm-hmm. for the last 20 years. You can find it on iTunes. It's under the Capoeira podcast. And there's like, I think I'm already on episode like 30 or 31 or something like that. And I recently did one where I took a girl uh, on a taco crawl Mm -hmm, like throughout mm -hmm. L.A. Because um, the night before we all went to a bar and she said that the tacos were not that good in L.A. And that I went to go prove her wrong. I know. (laughs) Yeah. I I proved her wrong that food is better in L.A. than New New York. York. Yes. Is there a strong taco presence in New York? I mean, I don't know. Like, is it's? I mean, there's more. I I believe that there's more. You know, Latin influence, yeah. like Dominican, yeah. and like I ate, like I had Dominican food out there when I went to New York for the first time, and I don't think there's a lot of Dominican, Puerto Rican, uh, El Salvador. Like, there's more of those pockets mm-hmm. of South mm-hmm. America yeah. and Central America right. in New York. Uh, but I believe that the taco scene is starting to get is starting to gain some steam there. Like I heard Bidia is starting to finally okay. land. Good. Good. Um I mean they've obviously they've they have their pizza and whatever hot dogs. And, but <laughs> well, they got David Chang and that's it, I think. <laughs> but they do need a I well they had Daniel Balud. So they have like yeah, they still have like they still have like a little bit on us. I think definitely yeah. in the fine dining. I think definitely ramen. Um I don't want to say like oh no, LA rules, but uh, the last time I went to New York, I had some great food out there that I couldn't Absolutely. get out here. Yeah, I think each place has their own. Um but we're proud to, you know, be here in LA and and have some great food here. So including tacos especially. So um very cool. Well, thanks again, uh, Jammers, and uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, We've come to the end of uh, another episode, so we're we're thankful that you joined us, and we're excited to bring you more, excited uh, to bring you more of our adventures uh, with good food and and good people. So 
make sure to reach out you know hit me up here on uh, on instagram at dumb and hungry you can jump on the chat whenever we try to stream on youtube and again try not to have terrible technical difficulties um i think we managed to pull through on this one this is a little uh, different for us uh but i think we manage and i think it'll be uh, it'll turn out all right um but yeah. No, this is fun. Yeah. Thank you for having and, me. And um, thanks, guys. Yeah. In addition to YouTube, you can find the audio wherever fine podcasts are served. But until next time, I'm Angelo. I'm Michel. I'm Jammers. And then hopefully Michel can <laughs> taste next. Yes, we'll check up on really, him next week. Yeah, I really hope so. <laughs> nice. And on your next food adventure, remember to try one of each. Bye.